Back with a new Supercard video, the shortcut to Vanguard continues as I come back to Supercard and I look to make it to the Vanguard tier as quick as possible, trying to find as many shortcuts as possible. And in the last episode, you guys saw me get a big shortcut with somebody went ahead and gave me the 2K20 limited edition cards for free. So that boosted me up big time and you guys saw me go from WrestleMania 34 to the Gothic tier in one episode, meaning I had moved up three tiers really quickly. Well, today, the jump is even bigger. We're jumping up past three tiers. So if you thought things were going to slow down after that, no, I actually sped things up and moved up even faster. And here's how I did it. First off, that Becky Lynch card actually went ahead and leveled her up, made it to the Neon tier because of that. Not even maxed out. My Neon freebie, no one dar. Next up, took one of those SummerSlam 19 Roman Reigns cards, went ahead, leveled them up some more, bam, made it to the Shattered tier. My Shattered freebie, Mandy Rose. But hey, I couldn't just rely on the limited edition cards and leveling them up because at some point, they're going to be maxed out. So in the background, I had something cooking up, my first ever holiday present fusion card the time was up the card was ready this is what happened all right the time has come guys for my first holiday present fusion card let's hope for a vanguard tier card come on let's go this is gonna help me out big time especially if it's a vanguard and it's gonna be oh oh, oh okay so I... all right whatever okay so some coal and a nightmare card all right it's not the highest tier but it's still higher than any other thing that I've got. I mean, I do have two SummerSlam 19 Roman Reigns, which once I pro will be stronger than this card, but still, I haven't pro them yet, and this is gonna be a big help. Okay, so you know what? We're gonna go ahead and activate another one right away. I'm not wasting any time because I wanna get as many of these as possible. A few more cards fed to Mark Henry, and there we go. Now I've moved up tiers once again, and we find ourselves in the WrestleMania 35 tier. Just one, two, three, four five tiers away. But I didn't stop there because this ain't the journey to Vanguard, this ain't the stroll, the walk to Vanguard, this is the shortcut to Vanguard, this is the sprint to Vanguard. So I had to keep going and in case you're wondering, the WrestleMania 35 freebie ended up being the game Triple H. So, so far it's doing pretty well for myself individually, but I knew that if I wanted to make it to the Vanguard tier as quick as possible, I need some help, aka I need a team. Now, unfortunately, being away from Supercard for so long, coming back, I no longer had a team. I mean, the only two members in there were myself and Noah. The other Team Deagle teammates, obviously, if they wanted to advance in the game, would have to find another team because I wasn't active anymore. So what do I do? Well, me finding 18 members to join my team before today's team event would have been pretty much impossible because of the short time available. And on top of that, the team would have likely been low tier because I'm low tier. So I had to, for the first time ever, actually look for a team. So I went ahead and messaged Nova, the only other member in the team, and I went ahead and set him as owner, and I was like, hey, could you stay in the team, keep the team name, so that if I do come back eventually, the team name's there. You know, we've got it. And with that, I set out to find a team on Twitter. How do I do that? I just go ahead, search bar, search Supercard Team, and then you find people looking for members or looking for teams, and usually I'll sort by latest. So I went ahead and checked out the people looking for members. I went ahead and replied to a bunch of them. Now, here's the thing. Obviously, I'm low tier, and I'm trying to find a high tier team here because if I find a team that's around my tier, then I'm not really gaining much out of it. My goal in joining a team right now is to get cards that I otherwise wouldn't be able to get on my own. That's what makes it another shortcut, and I know it's possible because I did the same for other people. When I had Team Deagle, I would bring in lower tier members for Team Ring Dominations and things like that so they could go ahead and move up. So I was looking for somebody that'd be nice enough to do the same for me, and in exchange, they'd get a really reliable member that's active and that fully charges and all that good stuff. So I messaged a bunch of teams looking for members, pretty much the same message for everybody. Hey, my cards aren't that great, but I'm fully active and I fully charge every single time. Little do they know though, I never charge. <laughs> Nah, I'm just messing around. I always charge. So anyways, next day, I actually get a response from one of them. So a man or a man goes ahead and responds to me saying, DM me and what tier are you? So I'm like, oh, okay. So I go ahead and DM him. We have a conversation. Everything's going great. Then I tell him what tier I am. And he's like, F off. Just kidding, that part didn't happen. And he goes ahead and tells me to join his Vanguard team. So at this point, I'm hyped. Me, a WrestleMania 35 tier, just made it into Vanguard tier. 
I'm excited. I get into the team and I'm thinking, yo, tomorrow I wonder if it's Team Rogue to Glory or it's Team Ring Domination. Either way, I'm looking forward to getting a card that's of higher tier than me. So in the DMs, I'm like, hey, what's the event on Monday? Team Rogue to Glory? Because, you know, I've been absent from Supercard. I don't know what's up next. And no, it turns out we're smashing cars on Monday. It's that Team Roblox thing. Should have read the article, would have known that that was the event. Anyways, the event shows up in the game in preview mode and man, do the rewards suck in this mode. Mainly the leaderboard rewards. Only the top three teams are going to get that Vanguard Biggie. How terrible is that? And even though I haven't played in a long time, I know from playing this game for a long time that the top three teams are going to have to put in a lot of work to make it to that top three just to get a Vanguard Biggie. How terrible is that? How do you introduce a new mode in the game, a new team mode, and the new mode is worse than all the other modes that you currently have, that you've had in the game for years? It's worse than Team Road to Glory, Team Ring Domination, and Team Battleground because in all those other modes, you can get cards that are of the same value easier. So what is the point of this? What is the advantage of this? And even though I don't know how Biggie compares to the other cards, I'm sure Biggie is not a top tier card. It just goes to show you it doesn't pay off to vandalize cards. But anyways, I needed to go back to improving my deck. So after finishing Team Road to Glory, I went ahead and trained the Roman Reigns cards so I could go ahead and max them out and pro them, which I did. But that kind of set me back a little bit because now instead of having two strong Roman cards, I had one really strong one. But no issue there, I was still WrestleMania 35, just not plus plus. And then shortly after, I went back to plus plus. And thankfully, I had another big boost coming in the form of my second holiday present, which was ready to go. Check it out. Okay, it's time for another big Fusion Chamber pack opening. Let's find out who it is this time. I'm about to open it up. Vanguard, show yourself. Okay, Beast card. And then we get an... Oh, okay, it's a Nightmare card, but hey... It's a female Nightmare card, which is great, because this is going to go right along with Becky. Because the thing is, I was like, oh, if I pro Becky, you know, it's a good thing, because Becky becomes stronger, but at the same time, my tier kind of drops, because now I no longer have two high stat female cards in my deck, in my top eight. But now I can go ahead and pro Becky, and there's no issue, because I've got a really strong Mandy Rose to go with her. Anyways, I need a bunch of diamonds right now, and I ran into an issue where I just had way too many coal, and I would go ahead and run into the enhancement limit every single time. It was annoying, so I need to go ahead and use a ton of them before I go ahead and even start another holiday present fusion chamber. Actually, I need to do this anyways, because I need some diamonds. And an update on that, I've currently got my third holiday present cooking up in the fusion chamber, and as you guys just saw, I got Mandy Rose, but despite leveling her up, I still didn't make it to the next tier, so I needed to go ahead and max out Becky Lynch and go ahead and pro her. So I did just that through Wild Mode and also the Women's Rumble. Took some time, it was kind of annoying because I kept on reaching the enhancement limit because of how many calls I've got. So at some point, so I don't run into the limit like every single match, I had to play a wild match, exit out of the game, open it back up, play another wild match, and repeat the process. Then I run into this 50 draft limit. What's up with that? I'm pretty sure back in season one, there was no 50 picks max in the draft board. But anyways, eventually I made it happen, fully trained her, proed her, and that went ahead and set me to the next tier cataclysm so within like 24 hours or maybe less i jumped up four tiers this time and this pro becky lynch haven't even leveled her up yet she's still at level zero so there's still some progress to be made just by leveling her up and as far as my cataclysm freebie i got one of the best cards in the game now nah, i got zack Ryder. i mean look at his expression on the card it's like he's telling you damn that's rough bro but hey, it's fine because it's just my Cataclysm freebie. I'm just showing you guys the freebies just in case you wanted to see them. Because I know I'm about to get some higher tier cards anyways. Like for instance, my third holiday present. Can't wait for that. Hopefully, this time we get Primal or Vanguard. But even if we don't, a Nightmare is still pretty good. And it will replace one of my top 8 cards that definitely needs replacing. Like that Carl Anderson and that Triple H card. And right now, I'm actually preparing for those higher tier cards by leveling up lower tier cards and maxing them out so I can feed them to the higher tier cards like the Nightmares, Primals, and Vanguards once I actually get them. It's something I've been doing for a long time in Supercard. When I don't have a card that I want to level up, I use the excess cards to train up a lower tier card, maybe mid tier, and I'll use that card to train a higher tier card once I get that. Now I want to take a second here to go ahead and thank you guys for all the support you guys have shown me for this super card return. Like I didn't expect this much love and praise and support. That's awesome, man. I really appreciated it. And also Damon Little in the comment section, man, you offered me to join your nightmare tier despite my tier. Thought that was really nice. Thank you for the offer. Obviously, you know, now I'm in a team. Shout out to A-Man and his team Revamp Origins for bringing me in. But yeah, I appreciate you making the offer, Damien Little. And speaking of teams, we're currently smashing cars in Team Roblox. 
and I'm fully charged up for Team Battleground, ready to go for the attack phase, which by the way, it's a good thing that they added in the use all option for the charges. In the past, you had to go ahead and put them one by one. It's kind of annoying. It's a small thing, but it improves the experience. So good thing they added that. But anyways, these aren't just my first team events in a long time, but they're also my first team events outside of my own team in years. So it's a totally new experience here. And the big question is, how is this team going to perform? And are we going to be able to win this team battleground? and get a Primal or Vanguard card, because that would help out big time.